chapter 1 reflection of light at curved surfaces topic 1.6 lab activity observing different types of images and measuring the object distance and image distance from the mirror see here the aim of the experiment is observing the types of images and measuring the object distance from the mirror and measuring image distance from the mirror. Now let me explain you the terms in this. What is an object? In optics, source of light is considered as object. Source of light. Source of light is considered as object. For example, a candle is a source of light. So we consider this as an object. A bulb is a source of light. We consider bulb as a object. So here candle is a source of light. We can consider this as an object and bulb we consider as a source of light and we consider it as an object. Now what is image? Image is copy of the object. We see our same object in the mirror or on the screen. So image copy of object. A copy of the object is called image. Now, image is formed by intersection of the reflected rays. In case of mirrors, the image is formed by intersection of reflected rays or by joining the reflected rays, we get image. When reflected rays meet at a point, we get image. Now, in case of lenses, we get image by intersection of refracted rays. Now we have different types of images. I will explain you the different types of images. See here. If the size of the object is same as the size of the image, we get one type of image called same size. Same size image. Now, if, when the size of the image is bigger than the object, we get enlarged image. Enlarged image. When the size of the image is less than the size of the object, we get smaller image that is called diminished image or diminished image, erect image and inverted image. Erect means upright, erect means straight. If the object is straight and upright, the Im erect image is also upright and straight. Now, you can observe the erect image in case of a plane mirror. See here, the object is straight and upright and the image is also straight and upright. The object and image look similar. Now, coming to inverted. Inverted means upside down inverted means upside down now here the image in the image it is flipped downwards the inverted image is upside down and vertically flipped now this type of image you can observe in the concave surface of a bulged spoon now we have Another type of image called 
रियल इमेज रियल इमेज इफ वी आर एबल टू कैच द इमेज ऑन द स्क्रीन वी नो इट एज रियल इमेज कैन बी ऑप्टेंड ऑन ए स्क्रीन कैन बी ऑप्टेंड ऑन ए स्क्रीन नौ सम इमेजेस वी कैनाट ऑप्टेन ऑन द स्क्रीन वी सच इमेजेस आर नोन एज वर्चुअल नॉट रियल वर्चुअल not real you cannot get it on the screen now for example see here you are able to see the image of the candle from the plane mirror now the image of the candle is of same size inside the mirror so here the image is same size image is same size and the size of the image is same as that of size of the object now the image is straight forward it is not up and down so we call it as erect image we get erect image now we can see here we are able to see the image inside the mirror that image we cannot get it on the screen so the image inside the mirror we cannot get it on the screen so it is called virtual image we have these types of images if the size of the image is same as object size we get same image if the size of the object if the size of the image is bigger than the object we get enlarged image and if the size of the image is lesser than the object we get diminished image if it is not up and down if it is as like if the position is same we get erect image if it is inverted or up and down we call inverted if we can get it on the screen we call it as real image if we cannot get it on the screen it is virtual image virtual means not real now in the experiment we get we observe all these types of images we get all these types of image we will observe all these types of images by measuring the object distance from the mirror and image distance from the mirror see here what are the material required see here we have object here candle is object and this is mirror you have you have mirror on the v stand and this you can consider as a optical bench and this is screen or paper screen so we measure the distance from the object distance from candle to the mirror object distance is the distance between object and the mirror now the distance between mirror and the image is called image distance let us do the lab activity <coughs> observing the different types of images and measuring the object distance from the mirror and image distance from the mirror now the material required are object a candle mirror concave mirror whose focal length is known we can take concave mirror of focal length 15 cm or 20 cm or 25 cm or 30 cm like that and we need a uh, v stand to hold the mirror and a screen to uh, catch the image and a measuring tape so these are the uh, apparatus or material required now how to remember this tabular form now the tabular form can be remembered in a very simple way already i have explained you <coughs> seven types of images we found see here now first activity is we measure the object distance from the mirror now we take this as the first activity the measuring the object distance from the mirror now keep the object at 10 cm from the mirror always remember we measure the distances from the mirror we measure the distances from the mirror now keep the 
object at centimeter 10 centimeters away from the mirror now now change the adjust the screen such that you we get a clear image now when we get a clear image the image can be having this type of characteristics now the image can be of same size or image can be enlarged or bigger or image can be diminished or smaller and image can be erect upright or image can be inverted or flipped downwards flipped vertically downwards or image can be real that can be caught on the screen and image can be virtual we cannot catch on the screen see here now so each time we change the distance object distance only now when we change the object distance we also get a change in the image distance also now so in most of the cases we get a real image and we get inverted image in case of concave mirror now after finding object distance u and we also find v then with the help of object distance and image distance that is we after getting u and v we can also find focal length of the concave mirror now we can find the focal length of the concave mirror and we can also find whether it is matching with the focal length of our taken concave mirror so this is a lab activity that means here by distance method by changing the distance we measure the focal length of the concave mirror so we can also in the our in the market we also have different types of different types of uh, concave mirrors are available whose focal length is already found and fixed and kept on the cover now we can take the known focal length uh, concave mirror and we can do the experiment and we can also find out whether our readings from the readings we are able to get the focal length correctly